Hey there, long time no wander. Let the adventure continue in episode 105 of the Doopy Doo Talk Through of Sheeran the Wanderer. Hello there, fellow Sheeran Wanderers. I am not even going to do any purse rummaging this floor. That's how confident I am. Actually, that's a really stupid thing to do, but I'm going to take care of this uh, shadow eye first. Hey, another unID'd staff. Pretty soon here I will have ID'd most of the staffs in this run. And that is an important milestone in any phase final puzzle run when you ID every single staff. I don't think I've found a Bufu staff yet though. So, hey. Ooh, another jar. Uh, holding jar. Yeah, still pretty good. Oh, that's what I really want. Rice balls. I don't think I had many rice balls in this run. Hmm. Once again, I'm going to put down the fancy shield. I remember last episode, or maybe it was two episodes ago, I kept putting down the fancy shield and then picking it up. I'm like, I don't really need this, so maybe I do. <laughs> now that I have this new holding jar, though, I'll be able to pick it back up again. Uh, last episode, man, that was like three weeks ago, wasn't it? There have been a lot of crazy things happening in my professional and personal life. I'm working constant overtime. Our staffing is so low, so it's going to be a while before I can record even two episodes a week, I think. But I will concentrate on this episode and not die. <laughs> Last episode in Face Final Puzzle, I went over... Oh yeah, the next two life lessons in Sheer and the Wanderer. Hey, Curse Mom! Must make posh impression of Curse Mom. Ah, shoot. She's already dead. All right, this is what, oh, whew. Hmm, be careful, I don't want to walk into him. Where is he? Oh, and I walked into him. <laughs> this is what I imagine a curse mom might sound like. Hey, Veronica, I think my baby is fucking retarded. She tried to eat like a Lego. It's not candy, Jessica, it's so obvious. Anyway, I was thinking you and Bethany and me should totally go out tonight. My mom can watch the baby. She's such a bitch, always on my case about not having a job or whatever. <laughs> I can only do one bitchy cursing female voice. It sounds roughly like a lumpy space princess. <laughs> Alright, so my evasive shield is not cursed. That's good to know. And I have a melding jar, so once I get some more... Uh, Kick-ass shields. Whew. This is not good. I'm going to meld myself a mega ultra awesome shield that will probably last me until I lose it or until this run is over. More pointless jars. I find a lot of pointless jars. What I really want is to find another possible the one because I will have a 50% chance this is just a waiting game now. I like to think sometimes of the... Oh, no. Alright. I do not want to let this item bandit weedify that jar. Because that jar could be a strengthening jar. So I got to take care of it. I can't just run away like I usually would. Because it's going to ruin all my precious, precious loot. What do I have? Hmm. Can you confuse everybody? That's good. I don't know if there's any charges left on that doppelganger. There might be. I think there are. I think I only used it a couple times, if I remember. Uh, knockback. Ice to meet you is switching. <laughs> I can't believe I remember that. Oh, sure it had some more on it. Dude, he's already assuming the position. He's going to take a weedy dump all over my precious loot. Must destroy him. All right, there we go. I got him outside the room. Now, though, hmm, this is not good. I forgot those guys can go under you. Surrounded by four dragons. <laughs> Gotta confuse everybody. Hopefully they won't kill anybody and level up before I can take them out. Come on. All right. Ah, uh, that guy won't come close, so it's all good. Kill Curse Mom. 21, eh? Hmm. Alright. Looking good. I think those guys up there are still confused. 
I can't kill this freaking item bandit, but he could throw a weed around the corner. I don't like it. Huh. Alright. Got another new Procrastitron. Procrastitron that guy. Don't be in the way. Oh! Freaking dancing jelly bean woke him up. Hmm. Hey! That was really dumb to do, by the way. <laughs> Swing an unID'd staff at a leveled up monster. Classic Doofy. But, again, classic Doofy, I lucked out. So, <laughs> this is a Boopoo staff. Alright. Huh. I really would like to take care of this guy before that item bandit wakes up. Because I, what I really want to save is that jar up there. I want to know what that jar is. Shave Cactus is still confused, beating on everyone. <laughs> oh, what? An Air Devil just killed that leveled up Dark Eye. Alright. No trap. Oh, no trap again. Not a lot of traps in this monster house. For such a little monster house, it's surprising. Oh, dude, no, 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 no. <sighs> Item Bandit, why you gotta be such a douche? No, stay away. I'm. Alright, whatever. I'll take it. I'll take it. Oh, uh, why did I walk next to the Item Bandit? Because I'm panicking. This is what happens when you panic in a monster house. I'm just gonna slash this guy. Not gonna waste any more charges. I have tons of staffs, though. Ugh. I could have just. Procrastitron that Item Bandit. I would have had my 3k armband. Oh! We're getting close. Uh, sometimes I like to think of the floor level as your age in your life. So you can imagine I'm 31 years old in a typical lifespan. I'm approaching middle age. It is very important before I hit the midlife crisis of sleep radishes to ID a sleepless armband. And I haven't done that yet. So I need to concentrate on that more. If I had been more meticulous about IDing my 3K armbands, I could have ID'd one. This Opal armband. Might be one. There's an unequipped trap somewhere on this floor, so. Oh my goodness, 52. Did you see that? 52? I got a procrastinate on him. That, that could have taken me out. I wasn't even thinking of that possibility. I think that's a level 3 false idol. Wow, those guys are showing up already. So I need to be very careful about using unID'd items. If my health is like below 60. I could have one-shotted me. That would have been the worst way to go out. You know, play this long and then that one mistake. Oh, Sheer in the Wonder, why are you such an evil game? <laughs> hmm. Do I really need this bronze ward? No, I've got other shields I can put in at possible strengthening jars, so. That'll be all good. The uh, life lesson today is... <laughs> appropriate for purse rummaging. The lesson is, and I thought of this all by myself, have what you use and use what you have. In Phase Final Puzzle, definitely. You need to have the items you use. If you don't use the items, like I don't use Pitcher's Armbands even though they're useful, so I don't have them. I don't keep them. I don't waste space in my inventory. I don't hoard items I don't use. And I use what I have. If I have something, I don't just keep it forever. Because I know I'm going to get more items, so I'm trying to basically uh, improve the quality of what I have by using what I have and gradually uh, getting better and better items. So, you'll see, uh, or you saw this this floor, I used a Poopoo Staff, which is a really powerful item. And it, sometimes people are tempted when they find something really good, like an Urban Victory or Poopoo Staff, to uh, never use it. Because in the typical RPG, like Final Fantasies, you usually end up at the end of the game, you have like this collection of the best like mega elixirs and super potions and all the best healing and restorative items. You don't use them because you're like, oh, I shouldn't use it because this is an awesome item. And then you just have it at the end of the game because you've never used it. Because you're, you're always thinking, oh my god, this is the last boss, I better not use it. Because dying is not really a big deal in those games. But in Chain the Wanderer, it's not like that. If you have something and you need to use it, and you're in danger, use it, you know? Use what you have. Oh, 65, that is brutal. 
<sighs> Luckily, the spikiness of my shield hurt it quite a bit. And that carries over to real life, too. I, I used to have a friend who collected anime DVDs. I guess they'll Blu-rays now. In an entire wall full of every anime series that ever came out, he bought it. And he had a lot of figures and things that he basically he kept in the box. He's a collector or an achiever, I guess, would be the video game equivalent. Someone who collects achievements. They don't really... Achievements, at least you have some kind of accomplishment that you've done. If you just buy things to collect them in a warehouse somewhere, in a closet, or just to look at them, you're not using what you have. So, it's, I mean, everyone... Advertisers would like you to think that you can buy your way to happiness by just collecting everything. And it's not really the case, you know? It might give you some brief sense of satisfaction to look and see like, well, I own every, whatever, NES game ever made. And the adventure was actually getting all those games, finding them, you know? That's the, the pleasure. Actually having them? Eh, not really. Another curse mom. I, I'm not gonna do another impression. I'm just gonna boo for her. Curse mom meat, extremely, extremely useful because... I think you've already seen this probably if you've watched the Boo Boo's Cave episodes, but Curse Girl Meat Family, Curse Girl Family Meat, whatever, uncurses everything outside of a jar when you eat it. So it's like a mega blessing scroll. So definitely important to have at least one of those. Especially since I have a melding jar, so when I meld my next super equipment, I'll have a Curse Mom Meat in case one of the things I meld happens to be cursed. And I can uncurse both of them at once instead of having a scroll of blessing and just uh, blessing one of them at a time. Oh, man, I might have to actually eat this curse bomb meat here in a little while because I want to see what this uh, opal armband is. And I don't want an enemy to make me equip it. I guess I could put it in a jar, but... The reason I am getting more anxious about identifying armbands is that on floor 46, sleep radishes show up. And you really, really should have identified a sleepless armband by the time you hit floor 46. I'm getting reasonably close. <laughs> I'm optimistic that I'll make it that far. So, uh, I don't know if I should eat this cursed mom meat right now or not. Hmm. Got three cursed items. It's almost worth it, because one of them is a scroll of identity. <sighs> I'm just going to put it away for now. I need this staff. Crassatron, that would definitely be useful. Yeah, so it's very important to uh, have what you use and use what you have. And Americans especially, all wealthy countries I guess, they waste so much food. I watch um, John Oliver's Last Week Tonight show sometimes, and he had an episode a couple weeks ago about food waste. I think it was like 30% of the food we make in America, it just goes in the trash. I used to work at a movie theater, so imagine for a second that I just put down that uh, dirt dragon meat and I walked away. And I'm, I'm pretty hungry right now. So if I ate that dirt dragon meat, I would get a plus 10 to my fullness. But I'm not going to use it, because whatever, I don't like the flavor of dirt dragon meat, you know? I'm just, I'm just so full, and it just doesn't taste good anymore, you know? Whatever. I only spent like 15 bucks for this meal, but I, I want to impress my date. I don't want him to think I'm like a pig. I mean, I'm impressed by a girl who's frugal, who takes home the food that she doesn't eat and eats it. Because there are literally not just children, but families in other countries starving to death. And in America, there are people in America starving to death. Like, they are so hungry they are about to die. Their bodies are shutting down. Ugh. <laughs> I'm so furious about this, I'm not even checking traps carefully. But when do I ever check traps carefully? So, it just it makes me furious to see all of this high quality food. It's not even always junk food. Ho ho, what kind of jar is this? A five slot Cairo, oh yeah. <laughs> That'll come in handy. Yeah, I always see all this food rotting in the fridge at work. Like hundreds of dollars a month people waste just throwing away food. Ugh, it's, it makes me angry on a moral level, on like a practical financial level. It's just 
Whenever people ask how they can save money, I always start with that. I'm like, A, eat all your food. B, make some of your food. Don't eat out every night. You just cook some food. I can easily live. I know this is becoming like a rant on frugality, but I can easily live on $100 a month as far as groceries if I actually cook all my food and don't eat out. I mean, and this is healthy food. It's not like Whole Foods uh, yuppie healthy food, but it's healthy enough. You know? It's a balanced meal. I feel good. So I don't understand these people who waste hundreds of dollars on food and then they complain. Oh, I don't have any money. I can't save any money for anything. I'm totally broke. Yeah, because you're not intelligent about spending money on food. So anyway, I don't know. that's one of my pet peeves. Have what you use, use what you have. Very important lesson from Sheer and the Wanderer. Alright, I think that was a pain cheering. I feel your pee. I'll just call it I feel your pee. I'm so angry right now about people wasting food that I'm not paying attention. <laughs> Most important thing though is I uncurse the scroll of identity. It's really tempting to use it on one of these armbands, but I think I'm going to use it on the jar, even though I know it's not the one, because it's not called the one question mark. Oh, Jar of Identity. Actually, that is really useful too, because I have these unID'd armbands. Generally speaking, uh, this early in Face Final Puzzle, you use the Jar of Identity on your armbands. So let me see. Oh, so those are both really crappy armbands, but I've got two more spaces, so hopefully I'll be able to find a sleepless armband and just put it in there. Oh, curse mom. You are everywhere. Hmm. Now over time, as more and more of your items get cursed, it's just not a good thing. Kind of low on rice balls, but it seems as though watching, um, huh. Thank goodness for my dragon killer mill. It seems as though watching uh, face final puzzle runs from other people like the Black Looper, that Base final puzzle gives you enough rice balls so that you won't starve. And I got a booth with staff if I really get hungry. I might regret <laughs> leaving that dragon meat as a demonstration of food waste. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that. I was trying to show you guys. I was trying to teach you a lesson, okay? <laughs> uh, I better not starve to death this run. I feel like such a moron. But it seems as though when you get low on rice balls, there's some trigger maybe in the code. Oh, there we go. Just speaking of it, that uh, unless this is a high level in Dubba, that would be kind of cruel. All right, I need to make some room. Let's see what this is. Antidote. I'm getting all the crappy armbands. Oh my goodness, a giant rice ball. It's always dangerous to save a giant rice ball because it could go rotten. I'm going to put it away. Giant rice balls are the best rice balls to eat when you're literally starving to death. Because not only does it completely fill your fullness, it also uh, increases your max fullness. So I'm going to save that for later. Hmm, might as well eat this other rice ball. Good to go. Alright, hmm. We've got time for one more lesson, I think, before we hit 20 minutes. <laughs> oh, a use for the antidote arm brand, but I'm not going to break my jar just for that. Final lesson, be alert. Anytime you see something weird happen, just pay attention to it. Remember when that uh, trap slowed down the death angel in my dragon barbecue episode? I noticed it. Same thing in life. When your significant other, boy or girl, seems to just explode on you and get mad for no reason, uh, you weren't being alert. There were little signs that they were about to explode. You weren't paying attention. So be alert in Sheer in the Wonder and in life. All right, I am going to save this. I gotta get out of here and go run an errand. I might not have time for another episode this week, but we shall see. Whatever happens, I will see you as the adventure continues in Sheeran, the Wanderer. Goodbye. I tried to run from those sassy, cursed moms. I tried to slow down for her. I had to make meat from her. But she always screams at me, every floor, every floor. And why did I try to name that staff before? I was sure. I think my baby is fucking retarded.